for those that um, have read my book um, on bicycle touring, a highly unlikely bicycle tourist, um, thank you. I enjoyed writing the book, I enjoyed the travel, uh, which lasted 16 months in, in all and covered over 12,000 kilometers of actual cycling. Um, oh, here's a little clip of my bike here. Um, I can't part with it, I just can't, um, because it was an adventure of a lifetime. Now that's the thing I want to talk to you about, and that's I want from you, if you're interested, 20 short stories about cycle touring, whether that's recumbents or um, tandems or, or unicycles, bicycles, uh, backpacking, bikepacking, you know, I, I really don't care. Um, what's important is that you tell it from your heart, you tell it how it was, um, and you write it how you want it to be read. Now that's the important thing. See, since I've been since I've been back, um, I've been writing, I've been publishing, I have a, a YouTube channel um, with um, information all about self-publishing, and a lot of it was in in a way to help people like myself at the beginning um, on my uh, writing journey and uh, maybe you too you know you've got some great stories to tell I know you have I know a lot of you who are into cycle touring I've got amazing stories to tell and you may have wrote them down in a journal and you may have one day decided you know I, I really want to write a book but you don't know how to do it well you'll find all the information for that on my YouTube channel and I'm adding to it all the time. I started this project in January this year, mid-January, and it's it's gathered steam. And I'm only two subscribers at this point, away from a thousand subscribers. Now that's um, not a huge amount. I, I appreciate that, but it's a verified channel. It has a verified check mark, and you know everything I say on it is real. You know I don't uh, I don't well, I'm going to swear I don't bullshit, and. Um, yeah, you, you take it for what it is. There's no advertising um, for affiliate links or for courses or anything like that. Right, here's the channel. It's just Stephen Peel. You can just type that into YouTube and, and away you go, basically. So it's all about self-publishing and how to publish your own book for free. You know, um, and, that's, and that's what it's all about because, like I say, I know that you've got a lot of great stories. I know that it's a shame that the, the world's not going to get to to see a lot of them. And I, I appreciate the, the work involved in in writing a story. Uh, 84,000 words and 220 um, pages. And it took me a long time. In fact, it took me a year to write. Um, and, yeah, it wasn't easy because... I knew nothing about self-publishing or anything, so I started doing research, and the research I um, learned, I've put into these videos, so that you can publish, if you want to publish a book, a full book yourself, uh, on adventure, travel, cycle touring, mountain climb, whatever it is, um, there's help here for you to do that, and get your book published on Amazon, for instance, um, free. And um, that, that's, that's got to be helpful to other people as well. If you scroll down all the way through these videos, there's around 150 videos now on self-publishing, you'll get to these bits here. And these are some of the... I mean, this is what I started my channel with, really. I just uh, put a few videos up. And again, I mean, I'm no videographer, but I've put in... Um, a little bit of time on creating some of these videos. There's some cheesy music on some of them that I wish I hadn't done. And at some point, I still have all the 4K video uh, that I captured from the whole of the tour. And I might put all that together and narrate over it. So there's no that cheesy in one video, in one whole video. Uh, I'll get around to doing that at some point, and that'll be a, that'll be worth a watch, I'm sure. And me with a bust spoke. Uh, which was a real shocker because it felt like the bike had collapsed underneath me. I, I didn't, you know, I didn't expect a, a spoke breaking to make such a noise and send the whole bike way out, considering I had so many other spokes. So thankfully, I took a day course with bike ride, and um, 
of one of my trips back, one of my short trips back uh, in the UK, in Liverpool, and learned how to fix the spoke through a wheel. And it was done in about 15 minutes. I highly recommend the chances of you breaking a spoke are super slim. Um, but at the same time, you know, a lot of people have some bad luck and two or three on a tour can go. Uh, ideally, you want to change it as quickly as possible. So, yeah, there's some, there's some great little videos there. Um, and you can click on playlist and you get to see which ones. And I've done them in order as well from day one onwards. So that might be of interest to, to some of you. Yeah, that's it. That's the YouTube channel. And give it a little looking at. Subscribe to it if you wish. In fact, subscribe to it. Never mind if you wish. <laughs> so what I want from you is a short story. Um, crush your, your whole story down if you wish. Or just take a segment from it. And between two and 5,000 words. And yeah, I appreciate it shouldn't take that long for you to do but um at the same time you're going to want it right because it'll get published on amazon along with others ideally i'd like to have about 20 stories so that could be as much as a hundred thousand words so it's not as thick as that now this book here this little book that i published as well i've published all sorts i've, I've done 300 books um all so i've got a bit of experience so this book here um, has approximately 20,000 words in it, The Urge. And I put this up just uh, a week or so ago. And it's to help anyone who wants to do travel writing. I make nothing on it. Let's get that straight first. No royalties at all do I make on this book. Um, zero in every, in every uh, country. Because I felt that it was important to try to help people who wanted to learn to write travel stories um, and even know what kind of traveler they were even if they could relate to what kind of traveler they were and that's why it's a short book and it's just a couple of quid it's two pound 83 but like i said i don't make anything on it so have a little look at that if you if you're wanting to put your story together um or you're wanting to know what to do ideally when you go on your next adventure what notes to take what how to take notes um the images image quality from your photographs and that's the other thing when you put in your and you'll find the link to my email address on my youtube channel but my email address anyway is steve john peel that's s-t-e-v-e j-o-h-n-p-w-l at yahoo.co.uk so send me an email with your manuscript or however you wrote it down on your uh, whether it's word or in a pdf or whatever now add photographs to it but make sure they're high quality because it'll all be black and white the book will be black and white i'll go through the whole thing and i'll put your story into the book i'll publish it on amazon and i'll make a little royalty i'll try and keep the price down as much as i possibly can so that more people can afford it more people can read your story i'll make a little bit to cover my expenses i'm not being shy about saying that and I think that's uh, I think that's fair for the work that I'll be putting into it, uh, and it'll be just great because there's so many stories. There's so many I've spoke to so many people on my on my travels, not just on the bicycle tour, but on all kinds of adventures, and um, you know I've even canoed in the, the Brazilian Amazon and things like that. And the stories I'd heard from people that, that have made such great short stories, that have made great books, big books, you know, long form books. Um, but they're not getting a chance. They're not getting a chance to be seen. So what you get out of it is you get your story uh, on Amazon and uh, in a book. So, you know, what I will do, I mean, it's going to be put in the book as you say it, as you write it. So try to keep as many typos and grammatical errors as you can out of it. Um, I will give it a quick looking at. I won't change anything about your wording. If I see a, 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 a silly error like the, the, for instance, or, you know, I'm, I may notice it and remove one of the, the, if you, if you like, or if you've spelt something that's, that's wrong, you know, that's, uh, I, I will try to recover that. But other than that, I might not. 
I might miss them myself. I might just get your, your word out there, how you wrote it, so that it says more about you. And that's the other thing. You can put a link in there. And when I say a link, it'll be um, your web page. Um, it could be your um, social media page. It could just be a contact email. Um, but I'll include that in the in the at the end of each of the stories so yeah it, it's a good little a good little idea and it would be great to um to hear uh from some of you and to read some of the stories I, you know i really look forward to it i look forward to putting it all together in a book and i look forward to publishing it so yeah give it a thinking about and like i say in the meantime if you haven't read a highly unlikely bicycle tourist Give it a read. It'll give, tell you something about my own style of writing. And um, maybe give you an idea on how to put a story together yourself. And that'll do that as well. And like I say, I make zero, zero royalties on that. Nothing at all. So I'm not trying to make a fortune off something I'm getting nothing for. It's just advice. It's a great, a great little book. Yeah, I've enjoyed doing this video. I hope it's helped. I hope to hear from some of you I hope to get some of your short stories and as you can see I've, I've got a decent little setup here um, I've got plenty of experience in self-publishing so you can be sure that your book will hit Amazon looking uh, looking well and hopefully you know it'll get out there and your, and your story will be be read and enjoyed by a lot of people try and keep anything I don't have to really say this do I keep vulg vulgarity out of it and and um anything that really shouldn't be said you know and try not to be political uh, that's another bit of advice you know um a lot of people go on on adventures and they and they talk talk about the people the area how they hated the people or they hated the area or they were right wing where they went or they were left wing where they went and all this kind of thing that will damage your story um so try to stay neutral in everything when you're writing writing your stories try to you know try to keep it um for everyone and that's a little bit of advice there i can give you um so that when you send your manuscript to me i don't have to to read that kind of stuff and then say look you know it just isn't going to work because i will say that and if we get more than 20 if we get 40 i shall write two books or put two books together with all these little short stories in and it could be a series which would be great so that's it so for those of you that have wondered what's happened to me um since um those years ago on, on my bicycle trip in which i started in 2017 um yeah i've been doing this and i'm loving it you know i'm i'm a grandfather now um yeah i'm still a husband <laughs> surprisingly after such a long long adventure but thankfully yeah i've uh, got two wonderful daughters and yeah i'm enjoying life we've moved into a, a bungalow now that I'm, well, I'm 60 in april so you know it's um have i give up on bicycle touring no not at all i'm sure at some point i'll get round to it um but it's always in my head since i did it it's always there and i didn't do it before i hadn't bicycle toured a single day before i went on my adventure before putting that book together i hadn't cycled um and camped at all so everything was brand new uh, i was a complete beginner and uh, yeah i sort of jumped in at the deep end and I, I loved it and it's always in my in fact i've even got into the idea of doing children's books i wrote this one uh, recently and it's a koala around australia now i was brought up in australia so i've got a good idea of um of how it is i spent all my formative years there i've been back in two god knows how many times and traveled all over the west and um yeah so i thought i'd put this little book together and it's even got my bike on it but it's basically um a story about a koala who travels around australia i only i only published it uh, a few weeks ago and it's it's taken off already and yet in the corner in each one there's a little map as the koala makes his way makes her way sorry round australia to different locations now on each page and each location i've actually mapped the miles and the cycle route um the distances 
uh, to see how how long it would take, how many how many miles uh, or kilometres it would take to get uh, all the way around Australia, and you know even though it's a little children's book, um, it's got some it has got some good information in it. So it'd be nice if somebody actually did that, uh, followed this route in this book at some point. But uh, if I go to the back, it's got um, here um, Kelly's journey. She cycled fourteen thousand four hundred and ninety and sixty-nine kilometers, or nearly nine thousand miles, over the course of one hundred and eighty-six days, including twenty-six rest days. And that was based on 80 kilometers or 50 miles of cycling each cycling day. So it has a little bit of interest for, for maybe some children who the parents want to take on a bicycle touring adventure. So that's what I've been up to. Um, and yeah, it's, as I'm sure for some of you, it's, it's probably nice to put a, well, maybe not so nice with this face, but it's nice, ideally, to put a face to the book and um and to my stories so yeah um thank you very much check out some of these books subscribe to the channel check out some of the videos on the on bicycle touring um on the channel and um yeah send me your short stories that's what this video is all about send me your short stories and like i say i then have the rights to those um stories it doesn't stop you from keep writing stories and giving them to someone else it just means that once they go up they won't be able to be changed um you know once i've put that up you can't say then could you correct that or, or i've done this wrong or i forgot about this once they're published they're published so make sure they're right your spelling's as uh, good as it's going to get and i will have a little scan through uh, i'll have a proper read actually but I, as i'm scanning as i'm scanning through i will see if i can find any errors and um, get them out of there but not all of them because i don't want it to interfere with your writing style so grammar uh, will pretty much be left alone get your stories in with some photographs high quality photographs and um, it'll be in black and white all the same but that's okay and thank you